Wake up, immortal. Your time has come. I have made my decision. You have perturbed me for a long time. Too long, in fact. I can't take it anymore. And I can't ignore my heart. Night and day, I have been thinking of you, wondering how it would be if if you embraced me like a lover, with part of me just melting into light at the thought, and another part of me twitching in disgust and contempt. I am torn between eliminating you as a traitor to the purity of my blood and embracing you as you are simply the best person I ever met. Obviously, I am hinting at your ability as a servant and your loyalty, which has been proven in time and time again. I, unfortunately, do not know enough about your personality to say I truly know who you are. And until now, it has been good enough like this. I just didn't care. You are my servant and I am your mistress. I have told you this so many times, but now I suspect it was more to convince myself than to remind you of your role. <sighs> I... I thought to myself, what should I do? I am falling for him more and more every day like a pretty mortal woman. This cannot be tolerated. The lion can't have feelings for the cat except contempt. I am superior to you as vampires are superior to mortals. This insurmountable barrier between us, it feels silly sometimes. No, it is necessary. I will be ridiculous if I accepted you as a... You as a... a lover. And besides, you will die in the end. You will grow old, become ugly and weak. While I'd stay forever young, never changing and ultimately outliving you. Do not think I will take my life for you. I just, I just can't imagine a life after love. My already long and boring days would feel like a terrible eternal torture. Well, this is it. Your life here ends now. I will send you away from my castle. You must never return here, ever. Do you understand? <sighs> don't say that. I don't need you to tell me how painful this decision is. But I can do anything else. There is no other solution. And if I keep you here, I would hate myself for lowering my noble spirit to love a mortal. This needs to end now. Leave this castle. I command you. I... I would have killed you for touching me without my permission in the past. And... Stop. Stop holding my hand right now. I don't want it. I, I don't need it. I don't need you. Leave me to my existence. Go back to your town. Tell a dreadful story about how you got lost in the woods. Then marry some peasant girl and have lots of children who will be pleasant just like you. Just go on with your life and erase me from your memory. It will soon be like I never existed. <laughs>
Stop. How dare you kiss me like that? I should. Go on. So, you're suddenly professing your undying love for your mistress. You've fallen for me completely, and you want to be with me regardless of what happens. I see. I accept your point of view, but bear in mind that as much as I might have enjoyed that kiss, you're still a mere mortal. I don't say that as an insult. It's just a fact. It is inevitable that your body will decay, your wrath will end. Do you want to leave me alone and heartbroken? Well, now that I think about it, there is something that can be done. But you must make a choice. You can either return to your mortal life now and leave me forever. Or... You can choose me, in which case you will have to leave your old life behind, forever. Do you understand? Good. Good, 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 good. What I can do, since I can have a mere mortal as my lover, is turning you into a vampire. Like me, you will never age and you will ascend from your mortal body and become something more, something better. I will need to teach you all the fundamental rules of my world. Unfortunately, I will lose the pleasure I derive from your blood. But I am sure that that's a fair price to pay in exchange for a lifetime of love. I mean, loyal and total obedience. Now, follow me. We need an adequate location for this solemn ritual, and my own bedroom will do. I will require something. In order to transform you, I will first have to drain all of your blood completely and replace it with a single drop of my own. This will turn you into a vampire and although you'll be weaker than I am, you will see Bill dignified enough to be my consort. I warn you, this will require even more loyalty from you, much more than you already give me. You will follow my will unfailingly, without question. Are you prepared to give up your old life yet? Very well. Let the ritual begin. I will now let you drink from my wrist. Thank you for this last meal, by the way. I really enjoyed it. Hey, no more drinking now. You had enough. Now rest and let the transformation take place. I will watch over you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> 